I'm mm. getting uh, a, a little bit of mint, a little bit of eucalyptus, and definitely some really? wild spices. Mint, eucalyptus? Yeah, I get a little little mint out of that. Have you been smoking something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but I can if you'd like. <laughs> Hi, this is Nina Simons from Spices of Life, and we're back with our favorite wine guru, Howie Rubin, who's the co-owner and general manager of Bauer Wines on Newbury Street in Boston. Hi, Howie. Hi, Nina. How are you? I'm, I'm doing starting great. to feel good. Actually, the rosés are kicking in. It's 9.30 a.m., <laughs> but who cares? So, we are introducing two more rosés for our Spices of Life audience. And tell us about these. What, what's going on here? Why? Well, we're going to go a little bit further up the, the ladder in flavor intensity. Everything's coming up rosés, so <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to notch it up a little bit. Okay. And this rosé, one of my personal favorites, is called Montez. And it's from the uh, Montez family in Chile. It's really a Ralph Steadman cool. label. Yeah. The cherub he made as a, a tribute to one of the friends of the family of Montez. And this is you know, like their second vintage of this wine. Oh, and really? It's really colorful and vibrant. And I love oh, the color of that. this wine. Look at that color. This Isn't is the charm of rosé. It's this beautiful, vibrant color. Yeah, that is lovely. So the qualities of a Syrah have a little blueberry, a little spice, a little mint, a little chocolate. And this will come through here. Oh, yeah. I smell that. I mm, smell yeah. strawberries, definitely. Yeah, wild strawberries, like the mm, kind you pick out in a field. Mm, the fraise du bois. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and what are you tasting? Mm. 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 Deep berry fruit. Yeah. I get yeah. a little of that blueberry from Syrah. Mm, I'm mm. getting uh, a, a little bit of mint, a little bit of eucalyptus, but it's a weighty wine. This has this yeah, has a lot of weight to it. Substance. So this is something you can do with a nice meat dish with maybe a chili rub. I personally like rosé with with the Thanksgiving meal because it's the only thing that stands up to the demon cranberry sauce. Right. Great. Okay. So let's go on to the next one. Keeping with the Southern Hemisphere theme here, I brought in a Molderbosch. Wow. Cabernet Sauvignon Rosé from South Africa. South Africa. So here we have Cabernet Sauvignon and a little bit of Cabernet Franc. A little bit earthy oh, yeah. in the nose. Very it's going to give you a little earthy. earthy. Yeah, and very. that's Cabernet Franc, which is why they added it to the blend, mm -hmm. just to give you a little pop to the nose. Okay. So here you're going to get a lot of wild berries. I get some, some nice herbs and spices. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Mm. What do you taste? Mm. Now you get that earthy and minerality. Yeah, definitely. That's Cabernet earthy. Franc, but yeah. it's not tilted too far in that direction. It's very well balanced. You get the blackberry of the Cabernet. You get a lot of spices. I get a lot of herb de Provence. Um, I get a little pomegranate, you know, that nice tartness. Uh huh. And this would be great with any of your Asian dishes. Okay, so this is great with Zip, seafood, grilled, yeah. meats. Well, Howie, once again, you scored brilliantly. Cheers. And uh, we're going to be drinking some more rosés with Howie. But from now, for, for now, this is Nina Simon, Spices of Life. And here's to more rosé. Thanks to our sponsor, Legal Seafoods. How was that? Oh. <laughs>